Hi, I'm Andy Gupp with the ESRI Developer Network Team, and this is a short video to give you the key steps that you need in order to mash up ArcGIS DriveTime Polygons with the Microsoft Virtual Earth SDK. DriveTime Polygons are simply regions that encompass all accessible streets that lie within a specified drive time from a point. Some example use cases are applications that are used to locate stores. And if you know how far your customers drive for pizza, for example, you can overlay the drive time information on a base map and visualize it in more powerful ways than you could by just knowing that number by itself. How do I create these polygons? You want to use an ArcGIS geoprocessing service. More about that in just a minute. What tools do I need for this mashup? You need the Virtual Earth Map Control SDK, the ArcGIS JavaScript extension for Virtual Earth, and of course ArcGIS Server, which provides you the REST-based geoprocessing service. That's your drive time buffers. REST-based query task is optional. You can use that to determine population within the drive time areas. And demographic block point data if you do want to use the optional query task. So let's dive in and see what the application looks like. Here's the application. I'm going to select a location on the map. Virtual Earth has reverse geocoded our center point. You can see the address there. Here's the drive time polygons. And I've also passed a parameter to Microsoft Live Search to return other pizza restaurants that are in the area. This will be important if I want to know where I'm going to build a new pizza restaurant. So let's take a look at the steps. The first thing I did, placing the point on the map and getting the address, I passed the click information to the find locations method. That did our reverse geocoding. It got us the address, city, and state. Then I took the city and state and passed it to the find method. This is the Microsoft Live Search that gets us the additional restaurants that are surrounding my point where I think I want to locate my restaurant. There's three additional steps. Creating the geoprocessor task, then we set up the geoprocessor parameters, pass it the point dynamically, then finally we want to process those results and push them to the map. Let me show you the documentation on the Resource Center. These are the online SDK docs. They do a much better job at explaining these steps. These are the online documentation for the ArcGIS JavaScript extension for Virtual Earth. To quickly recap the steps, create the geoprocessor. We're going to specify a REST endpoint. We're going to set up the parameters for the geoprocessing service, dynamically specifying the location. And here's the drive time parameter values that are also passed by my sample application. Finally, we're going to ask the geoprocessing service task to execute. We're going to return the results, and we're going to iterate them and place them back on the map. Well, I hope that you found this interesting at least piqued your interest to try out this sample application and give it a test drive. I've also provided several links for resources that you might find helpful. Have fun and code away.